Good evening. It's me, Amiibo Doctor, and I should be doing homework. The other day, a community tier list went out, actually a couple weeks ago, but the data was all just compiled, asking top trainers, Amiibo experts, and myself on what they thought that the Amiibo tier list should look like. We went through character by character and we voted individually on every single tier placement. Now it took a while because there was like 76 characters. It was quite a bit, but here's the final results. This is going to stay up on screen. You're not going to be able to see my mug. I'm sure you didn't mind anyway. Let's talk about mostly some of the things that I have noticed and some of the things that I've disagreed with on this Amiibo tier list. So we're actually going to chop this up into a couple of videos. We're going to start at the bottom, work our way to the top. But today we're going to go F, D, or I'm sorry, F, F plus, D, and D plus tier. So you'll notice all the way at the bottom, Bayonetta in F tier. Now that seems a little bit painful, but it's reasonable. She doesn't get a lot of representation, and she really has nothing going for her. You would think that, are you kidding? Bayonetta is a built-in combo character. Yeah, but Amiibo can't combo. So... How's that work out for you? You'll actually notice with a lot of other low tiers like Greninja and Sheik that they don't, they're, they're built for combos too, and Amiibo don't combo well. So Bayonetta being an F tier, yeah, that's fair. Worst Amiibo in the game, I, I think there's a very legitimate argument for that. Um, I'm actually very surprised. Now remember this tier list was set up by community vote, okay? Um, there was not everybody, but there was very notable trainers Amiibo experts, and like I said, me as well for some reason, um, were all involved in the creation of this list. So I'm surprised to see everyone else who voted put Sheik as second to last. Now that's an opinion I've had for a long time. In fact, I think Sheik is contender for the worst in the game. She's bottom two, bottom three, arguably. It's really no joke about that at all. Um, but I thought I was alone in that. So it's nice to see that other people share my opinion, at least. I mean, I've, I've trained Sheik. I have really really stinking tried Sheik. I have like five or six different editions of Sheik that just never accomplished anything. So, I don't know. Maybe other people paid attention. It's very interesting to see Diddy Kong in D tier, but then again, some of the data may have come in before he started taking names. Um, Gambino, who is someone's Diddy Kong. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I have a lot on my mind. I don't remember which is which. But Gambino, the Diddy Kong, has really started just kicking ass and taking names. I mean, my goodness. So, you know, there's probably a delay since when the voting originally opened versus when Gambino started, because it's been up for like two or three weeks, if I remember correctly. Um, actually, same thing with Bowser Jr. I just interviewed Reparo, who won the Suwal tournament with Bowser Jr. the other day, and uh, his, his Bowser Jr. Um, lost ace has really been making a lot of headway not as much as diddy kong but still quite a bit i mean he's really uncovered a lot so i recommend that you actually watch that video i'll see if i can't get an end card for that so this is where i disagree i don't speak authoritatively on a lot of specific amiibo unless it's generally agreed upon opinion okay unless it's rosalina or pokemon trainer i have the only rosalina win ever. And, coincidentally, she beat a Pokemon Trainer to get that. I also have one of two Pokemon Trainer wins. I am, not to brag, the foremost expert on Rosalina, only because nobody else knows more than me, which is really saying something that goes to show you that we don't know much about Rosalina, but I don't think Rosalina is d plus tier. I think she's at least c tier. Okay? Uh, reasons being, um, if you look at how mine played, and I, I really have to, this is mostly on me. I consider this to be partly my fault. I need to be submitting my Rosalina a lot more. She has forward air, which can kill at middle to mid high percents, but she can go off stage and kill with it as well, which is highly effective, and it can often catch air dodges. She has up air, which can kill opponents all the way up at the top blast zone. That's actually how she gets a lot of her kills. Um, down air, she doesn't usually spike with, so I don't worry about that too much. But Luma also gives her more power, so up tilt can also be used for that sort of thing as well. So if you've seen my Rosalina play, um, she has inconsistent results. Rosalina is an inconsistent character, but she's not D plus tier. Come on. I should mention, um, except for a couple of outliers, like for example, I said Bayonetta was SS tier. No, I'm just kidding, I didn't. But if I had said Bayonetta was SS tier, that would have been taken out but this data is the average basically uh, if i'm understanding it correctly 
So Peach and Daisy in D tier, or Peasy as I like to call them, uh, Peasy in D tier doesn't this doesn't really make sense. Um, cons- no, may- maybe it does. Maybe it does. Maybe we need more time for Kangoni's PZs to get results. But, you know, there could just be a time thing. Like, you know, two weeks ago was a way different Amiibo meta. Everybody was still outside. We were sweating and losing weight. Not hating ourselves. Anyway, <clears throat> could just be a time thing. So, you know, uh, maybe give PZ more time. Um, I just, I don't think she's D plus tier. Right now, that's true. She is limited and lacking in results, but she just got a good upwind, man. Like, let me tell you what. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hard disagree on D plus tier for the Samuses. Um, they have potential, and it's just not being represented. Like, they're actually, they're not stellar. They're not A or B tier, but they're also not getting the chance to shine. Okay, they have very little representation. They are capable okay there are really good samuses i mentioned this the other day really good samuses and mides and little fangs especially uh mike dark samus is halfway decent but i haven't put him in anything for a while but there are really good samuses i'm telling you what man we just gotta get a little bit more rep as far as samus goes so d plus tier but only because nobody submits them. Once they submit them, and once the Samuses are allowed to sort of get some leeway going on, you know what I mean? Get some uh, get some rankings. They'll do fine. Like they'll be out of D plus here. Now I did a video on Greninja the other day. Uh, by the other day, I mean last week. And seeing him in that placement, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll wait for more Greninja results before I sort of poke at that because you know he did win a suel tournament the other day um but he hasn't won anything else and he hasn't won anything he hasn't placed well yet so it was a one time and it could have just been a fluke that's possible so we'll we'll wait on the greninja results anyway those are my thoughts on the f through d plus tiers of the community amiibo tier list sorry yeah no i said that right community amiibo tier list um next video we're going to be next video on this topic we're going to be covering the c through the b plus Ooh, well that's going to be fun anyway thank you so much for watching amiibo doctor out